Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jordan here. I appreciate you checking in, probably because of this title, which is Spotting a Fake Benchmade. As you can see on the table, there are two bench maids and uh, what we have in these boxes are bench made bug out 535s and it's probably one of the the most popular edc knives on the market right now that are lightweight that are super just reliable and uh, just very well made knives here in oregon so i uh, recently purchased two of these one i got on eBay and one I got at a local knife shop in town. So uh, the reason I got these is Benchmade. So made right here in Oregon. Um, it's got a lifetime warranty. It's the specific knife is made out of a S30V stainless steel and it's got this Cerakoted tactical gray and, and I went for the the army green. It's a beautiful color. So I want to open both these boxes for you guys today, show you, you know, out of the box, what do you get as well as how these, these fakes are on the market. They are circling around Amazon, even eBay, and uh, some people will get you. And I got had, I picked up a, a real one at a local store, which I should. And, uh, and then I also got one on eBay and I was able to quickly spot that the one I bought on eBay was fake. It was a clone, it was a copy, and I hopefully, with this video, can help you guys from making that mistake yourselves. So let's open these boxes, check them out, and see if you can spot the fake first, and then I will point it out, and also point out some of the characteristics which will really show and reveal which one is fake. It's amazing how a, a copy or clone can be well done it is hard to even distinguish when you look at these if you just had one and didn't have a another one that was a genuine article to be able to compare it with you would really not know what you're looking for so hopefully i could save you guys money and the hassle of buying something fake so let's just go left to right here and let's see what we get out of the box similar packaging um even let's see the sleeve here Benchmade logo name on that. There is the knife. This one has an access mechanism. So this is something that uh, I believe Benchmade trademarked. Really cool mechanism for the the flip of the of the knife. Uh, solid. It's been tried and true for many years. And so put that right there. Got an instruction manual. Let's pull this one out real fast. See the difference. Ooh. Okay, got the axis again, very, very similar. It's hard to even tell the difference. Same axis little tab, there it is. And again, this is the Ranger Green that I ordered, ordered and bought locally. So similar, there is a little bit difference in color and that's gonna be one of the, again, one of the telltales that I will point out to you, which one is the actual Benchmade color but one is fake and one is real. So let's look here at the box. Both have the manuals. The coloring's a tad different. The style, the shape, even the graphics, they're a little bit different. So be aware of that. Let's look at the, the knives themselves here. I am just gonna reveal which one is real and which one is fake. The serrated one is real this is the genuine article this is what i got on um, at a local shop here the knife's edge in eugene oregon great guy i s love supporting him and i should have uh, not went online and got this from ebay um, if i knew what i was looking for maybe i could have but it really is now more of a hassle but i'm thankful I can make this video to help you guys not make that same mistake. So I'll, and I'll point out some of those key features. The real one, it is, it's everything that you'd expect in a Benchmade. Again, made in Oregon City, Oregon, um, USA. It is a great quality. The access system is, is awesome. That's with this, this mechanism here for the, the folding. It is a really clean, just smooth, folding knife it's lightweight too it's one thing i love about this bench made is i i have the the griptilian and that's a little bit more robust thicker scale knife you can see the comparison there 
Uh, this has been a great knife. I love serrations since that's why I got this one uh, and be able to cut rope and cordage easily. But this one's been tried and true. It's been a great knife. It's heavier, way heavier than the Benchmade Bug Out and the Bug Out's bigger. It's got a bigger blade on it. Uh, overall, I've just been very impressed with this Bug Out. So sharp and right out of the box. That's one of the big differences you can tell with this fake one is it's not sharp um, and maybe obviously they, they could have sharpened this to make it a little bit sharper and would have been a little bit less noticeable but um, right out of the box you can just tell when you have the real one and obviously not all of you guys will have the real article to side by side it but if you have a real one you can tell when you're using it when you're cutting with it and just carrying it you can tell a big difference with this fake one there are a few features that i hope you can tell even by looking at photos online so again here is the fake one here the the color is one of the first keys you can tell it's a darker green and obviously I like the, the Ranger green, the darker green is nice, but the real one has more of an FDE green mix color. So it's a little bit lighter green than the real one. And uh, the mechanism, the axis on this is not an axis. So you can hear, put it up here. It is quite crunchy. It's who knows what those, the spring and everything is made out of. It's cheap, again, definitely not S30V steel, even though it's printed on there and it's a lie. Who knows what kind of metal they made that out of and then put it on this knife. Um, but when you're looking at photos online, how can you really tell? So again, the color, that's a big factor. This one had a shinier, or the fake one has a shinier um, thumb mechanism. So the real one has a little bit more muted. It's not gold and shiny. So that one does which is, um, you can see that there. The, the top of it, the fake one, has a silver lined back, whereas the, the real one is black. The pocket clip there, so the fake one is more shiny, a little bit bigger as well. One thing that you can't tell by looking at uh, photos is the, the scales on this. So these scales are made out of this glass-filled thermoplastic, the real one is. Um, it's it's called this Grivery Scales, I believe, and they're excellent. They're super lightweight, they're very durable, and it's just a great technology. It makes things very light, but also, again, extremely strong. On this fake one, you can tell here, I can just press those together. I'm touching them. Those scales are touching, whereas the real one, I'm pressing the same, same tension, and I cannot touch those together. Um, this one has a bit more sheen to it. Uh, this blade from Benchmade is the um, Cerakoted Tactical Gray, and so it's a little bit more mute. The the one that came on eBay is a little bit more shiny. The the logos are what's crazy to me how how much they can just copy that logo. And here's a good shot right here. They they can replicate this very well. So one of the big indicators I saw was on the trademark here on the bottom right. Um, there is a small little trademark sign, whereas on the fake one, it's much more prominent and big. So I think they maybe somewhat compensated on that and made it uh, more prominent, but that is not legitimate. Again, if you can't feel it in your hands, look for some of those telltale signs, look for the color of knob, look for that logo. Um, look for that pocket clip, see if it's nice and shiny. It's probably not real if it is. And look at that back, if it's shiny, it should be black. So look at photos if you're looking for one online. Um, I will provide an affiliate link through Amazon that will have the actual Benchmade store. <laughs> so I'll, I'll attach that in the description below. So if you guys want a genuine article, this Benchmade, again, has been just a workhorse the last couple of weeks. I'm excited to put this out in the field more, go camping, um, go outdoors and use this. Uh, but it's been a, a solid EDC carry. I can barely tell this thing's in my pocket. It is lightweight. Um, the weight on this, the real one, according to my scale, it's coming in at 52.8 grams. 50.3. So there you go. Lighter weight, cheaper materials, and... Uh, cheaper knife. Um, also, if there's a picture of the box, you know, this might not tell you everything, but the real box 
has this foam. It's, it's almost a cork-like looking foam that's inserted into that box. So that is a real box. The fake one has this cheap foam. There wasn't even a, a cork in there at all. So it doesn't mean that someone can't take this box and put a fake knife in it, but that was, again, a number of telltale signs that were indicating this being a, a replication. So I even took this fake knife into my uh, local store, Knife's Edge, where I bought this one and showed the guy, and he was very much impressed with the, the, the copy of it, but also he helped me notice some of those, those standout features that you can tell when buying uh, a knife, whether it's real Benchmade product or not. All right, guys, that's all I got today. I hope this helps you not waste money on cheap Chinese, most likely, products, but buy something that's USA made. Again, I'll put that Amazon affiliate link below if you want to buy that. It supports the channel. I appreciate it. Please like, please subscribe. I'll keep putting out other content. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Peace.